We welcome President Habre to Washington as the leader of a nation that has recently beaten back the violent aggression of an outlaw state. In winning its stunning victories, Chad has acted to preserve its freedom and handed a forceful message to aggressors. That message is, African nations will defend their sovereignty and foreign aggression will be defeated. The States has proudly joined France, Zaire, Egypt, and other friends in the effort to provide President Habre's government the means to fight and win. Although the struggle is not over, we believe the victories on the Chadian desert bode well for peace and stability in Africa. Chad's triumph underscores the valor of the Chadian people and makes clear that they and other African peoples will remain free and independent. Chad's accomplishment is admired by the free world and will benefit all of Africa. By shoring up regional stability, Chad has helped its neighbors, who now can focus more of their energy and resources on country building in an effort to move its fundamental economic situation. Today, President Habre emphasized that his government, I assured him that we will continue to do our best to work with France and other steadfast partners in the international effort to help reach President Habre's laudatory goals. President Habre and I discussed a number of issues of international and finally, the friendship between Chad and the United States reflects our shared commitment to freedom and international cooperation. President Habre and I are con of both our peoples. It was an honor and a great pleasure to have had him here as our guest. Monsieur le Président, je voudrais tout d'abord vous remercier pour les propos fort aimables que vous venez de tenir à mon endroit et à l'égard de mon pays. De même, permettez-moi également de vous remercier très sincèrement pour l'invitation que vous avez bien comme l'objet depuis que nous avons foulé le sol de votre grand pays, les États-Unis d'Amérique, pionnier de la lutte pour l'indépendance et champion de la défense de la liberté. Actes de liberté et d'indépendance que sont la liberté de tous les hommes, l'indépendance des nations. Champion of the defense of freedom. In this connection, Mr. President, May I say, at the risk of hurting your modesty, that your vigorous action at the head of the United States has enabled you to give new luster to these essential values, the independence of all people, liberty of all nations. Notre visite est aussi l'illustration parfaite Des excellent... ...that are so active and so interactive between our two countries. Mr. President, the uh, constant and varied assistance and support of the United States has been very valuable to us in our legitimate struggle for the defense of our dignity, of our independence, and of the integrity of our... ...au peuple américain, tout entier, pour cette action de solidarité avec le peuple tchadien, injustement agressé et humilié. And this is indeed the place, Mr. President, to express our deep gratitude to yourself, Mr. President, to the American people for your solidarity with the people of Chad who are so unjustly aggressed and humiliated. En effet, grâce notamment à votre engagement ferme et celui d'autres amis du côté de la justice et du bon droit. Le peuple tchadien a aujourd'hui libéré la plus grande partie de ses terres exposées. Mais comme vous l'avez relevé à juste titre, 
Le Tchad qui demeure toujours sous la menace des armes doit poursuivre son, son combat pour mettre fin définitivement aux empiétements sur sa liberté et vivre l'ère de la paix. Territories that had been taken away. As you yourself have stressed so aptly, Mr. President, Chad remains under threat and must pursue its fight in order to put an end once and for all to encroachments upon l'œuvre de libération nationale et à s'atteler durablement à la bataille du développement économique et social en vue du bien-être de son peuple. I note, therefore, uh, with great gratification after my discussion with President Reagan, the uh, tackle in a lasting manner the battle for the economic and social development of our nation to foster the welfare of our people. Monsieur le Président, le Tchad comme les États-Unis chérit au plus haut point la paix, la liberté, la justice, et, le, et la protection des droits de l'homme et des droits. Ce sens solidaire de tous ceux qui, victimes de l'oppression et du racisme, livrent un combat libérateur. Cherish to the highest degree peace, freedom, justice, protection of human rights, and we firmly believe in coexistence among nations and peoples, because Chad has suffered and continues to suffer in body and soul from the lack of peace and the violation of these rights, we feel great solidarity with all those who are victims of oppression and racism wage their own liberating struggle. And your country play in this entire process so that mankind will be immune from the major uh, threat against it. C'est pourquoi il est reconfortant de relever que les relations entre les États-Unis et le Tchad sont des plus excellentes et que nous sommes résolus à œuvrer ensemble vu de contribuer à l'avènement d'un monde plus juste et plus solidaire. That is why we are greatly comforted to know that relations between United States and Chad are of the most excellent character and that we are determined to work together to give them new impetus in strengthening our cooperation so that we may help bring about a world with greater justice and solidarity. Thank you. Back. Uh, no. I wonder if 
going to Newfoundland uh, tomorrow. Really? 